What's up, WordPress nerds? Um, before we get started into our video, I wanted to quickly shout out WP Scan. WP Scan is a WordPress plugin that allows you to kind of get a hacker's view of your website. Um, security is a huge issue nowadays, and WordPress is definitely on the front lines of some of these issues. And so being able to get ahead of the issues that could uh, affect your site is a big deal. Now, WP Scan will scan your website using you know, methods that hackers would use to gather information about your installation and then give that information to you in order to help you kind of patch those holes to keep your website secure so for example if you have some plugins on your site that have a known vulnerability in them it will alert you to that and then show you which version of the plugin you should either upgrade or downgrade to in order to um, avoid that issue so this is a huge help to those who are looking to make sure that their site is secure at all times and um, there is a great team that is constantly updating their list of um, of known vulnerabilities in WordPress. So if you're interested in having a more secure website, check out WP Scan. Link is in the description. All right, let's jump into the video. What's up, nerds? Let's just jump right into this. Um, what I have here is a blank installation of WordPress with a couple little things added on top. I have a custom post type called Press Releases, and they are attached to um, one of three categories, business, fitness, or health. And we're gonna be going over three different methods of being able to get these posts to be able to render on the front end of the website. So what I have here is just an index.php that just has git header and git footer. And the only other file in this theme is just the style.css in order to be able to activate it. So we're gonna go over the three methods that I most commonly use. Um, I'm sure there's other methods as well, but these are the, probably the ones that I would uh, know how to do if I were you. Uh, so the first one here is we have um, just regular old git posts. Now git post is just a WordPress function that's available to you, and it goes a little something like this. And just so I don't mess things up, I'm just gonna copy and paste this in here. Um, so we're assigning git posts to a variable, so whatever results we get back will be assigned to posts. And all it is is an array of options. Um, so you have the key over on the left-hand side and the value on the right-hand side. So post type we're saying is press release. And that is the slug of the custom post type that we have here. So if you can kind of see up here at the top that the post type is press release. And what we have next is just post per page is 25. That means we'll get 25 of these um, added to posts, and then category is the number four. And so we have, um, out of these categories, number four is business. And so we should get 25 posts that are assigned to business. And um, there's obviously lots more uh, different options that we could add in here, and kind of going deeper into these is an entirely separate video, but the purpose of this is just to show how to get um, some some posts with a custom query. Uh, so then on top of that, what we'll do is um, we now have a bunch of posts that are inside of here. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So I just have um, some pre-tags and some posts and then just an HR at the end to let us know where it stops. And let's visit the front of the website and we have this. So first off, you'll see that we have an array of a bunch of post objects. So this is gonna come back with all sorts of information. Um, it's gonna have you know, the ID, the author's ID, the date of the post, then the post content. And since we're up here and it had HTML in it, it's rendering that HTML so it looks a little bit crazy. But then once that HTML ends, um, you can kind of see that we've got post title, excerpt, and a lot of other information that we're probably not gonna use. Um, then you know, the next item in the array is another post object with all that information as well. So now this information is available for us to render on the website. So what we'll do, and just to keep things simple, is we're just going to loop over these posts with a um, PHP function that's for each. So we're for eaching um, posts and we're declaring each individual post as post. And then we are using a special WordPress function called setup post data. And what this does is it allows you to be able to use WordPress functions 
um, without having to pass in the ID or anything like that. So if we do get the title and get the permalink, it's going to know contextually which post we're talking about. And when we're all done looping over those posts, we're going to reset the post data back to its default. Because if we don't do that, it'll break things further down the page. Um, another thing that we'll want to uh, be aware of is that we need to name this specifically um, post, $POST, and pass in very specifically $POST into setup post data. It's just a quirk of WordPress when you're using setup post data. So if we were to save this and refresh the page, we should get a list of 25 posts, all from the business category, um, and just a read more uh, link that links to the page. And you can hopefully kind of see that link in the bottom left. Um, but this is uh, setting up a custom query using um, get post. So let's uh, get rid of all of this. And another way to do this is by using a um, class that WordPress gives you called WP Query. And WP Query looks awfully similar to uh, Git posts. Um, you do new WP Query, and then you pass in an array. And we have the same uh, type of arguments here. Um, WP Query has other kind of um, labels for some of their arguments. Like if you wanted to do the category name instead of the ID, you can do that. Um, or, but we still have post per page and post type. And you can obviously go a lot more uh, in depth with this, but we're trying to keep things light. Um, and so let's uh, dump out what this uh, gives us. So we're just uh, dumping, printing those, and we get uh, this information here. So we have a WP query object. So we're not just getting a straight array back, uh, but it does show us what we passed in and then some of the query vars that came back with it. And we're not gonna be going over that, but it just kind of helps show kind of how the query was built. And then um, down here, it has a uh, the request, kind of like what it ended up being in SQL. And then we have a posts uh, item, post part of the object, which is an array of posts. Then that's kind of what we get back when we do get posts, so we can, See down here, we've got some images and all the different posts over and over again. So it comes back with a lot more information than get posts comes back with. And sometimes you'll need that, some, sometimes you don't. Um, it is worth noting that uh, get posts is basically just a wrapper around WP query. So it ends up doing uh, roughly the same thing. Um, but this uh, is used a little bit different when you actually want to render things on the page. Now, you can just kind of point to the posts uh, key and then loop over those, but uh, the more traditional way to go about doing it is a little bit uh, more familiar if, you're, if you've worked with WordPress at all and have never done a um, custom query before. Uh, WP query, um, ask, uh, you basically have to use whatever variable that you uh, assigned the results to you have methods that you could then call off of that. So you would do uh, query arrow have posts. So we're checking to see if there's any posts in that post uh, posts key. And then so while we have posts, so you do query arrow have posts again, then you do query the post. And that kind of does the same thing as set up post data um, in practice. So we would just echo out, uh, get the title, get the permalink and another HR in between each one of those. So if we refresh this page, we will then get um, you know, 25 posts from that category uh, that we had set up earlier. So now we have all of those posts as well. So you can get like the featured image, you can get all this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, these type of functions here. So we won't go in depth there. Um, if you guys would like me to go a little bit deeper into kind of how to you know, really build out these, uh, render out these queries, then uh, I'll absolutely do that. Just leave a comment in the, in, the, in the comment section. All right, so we've gone over Git posts and we've gone over WP query. Um, another one, and I'm starting to use this one more and more just because we have more and more complex queries that um, we need to do. And there's a little less overhead in this, so the queries tend to be a little bit faster when you're doing um, large quantities. And this is uh, WPDB. So 
uh, WordPress has a lot of global variables, and uh, one of them is uh, WPDB. And so that stands for WordPress database. And you can, there's a lot of methods that you can use to um, query the database, but the one that we're gonna be using now, and this is also an entirely, uh, a whole video on its own, but um, we're gonna be using get results. So WPDB and then arrow get results is a function and you pass in essentially a SQL string that lets you kind of just build out a, a SQL query that you know you can do whatever you need to do in the database. So we're gonna select the post title and post excerpt, the ID um, from WP posts, um, and we're going to left join that onto the term relationships table and on the ID. And then we're gonna get the uh, press release uh, post object or post type. We're gonna make sure that it's published and that it has the uh, term taxonomy ID of three. So then we're gonna limit that down to 25 and that roughly gives us like, I mean, the same thing as those other ones just with a different category. Um, and so you can kind of add or subtract to this select as much as you want. You could give it, you know, a star and get everything back. Uh, but let's just actually just get the post title and ID for now. Um, and then let's dump that out and see what we get. So let's do print R results and refresh our page. And we get something that looks like this. It's an array um, that ha contains objects inside of it. So we have post title and post ID, just like we asked for. So uh, you don't have the same method of being able to create a custom loop like the if have posts, while have posts, the post. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more of a similar result as the original get post that we talked about. But then you can use this to kind of build out, you know, your page as you would need to. So what we would do is just something, you know, like this. So let's open our code back up, comment out that. And then so you could just loop over these posts just like you normally would. So results. So for each results as release, and then you do re release arrow post title because remember, this is an object. So you treat you would call these keys and get their values like you would from an object. Um, and then you would, um, you know, if you need to use a WordPress function like get the permalink, you would just pass in release ID and then you would be able to get that permalink for that uh, particular post. So let's refresh this page, and now we've got our title, and we've got our link to the press release. So these are just three um, simple ways that you can get uh, data out of WordPress. If you're a little bit more familiar with SQL and you need to do something a little bit more specific, use something like uh, WPDB. Um, the rest of the time, I would say uh, WP Query is probably going to do about 99% of what you needed it to do. Um, Get Posts is another really good one. Um, they're mostly interchangeable, but there is some slight differences that we can go down in another video. But if you've never done a, a custom loop before in WordPress, um, I would recommend using one of these three depending on your needs. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I will be linking the in the description, all of the code that was uh, shown here today. Um, I'd like to thank my patrons. We just released our another ex another exclusive video where we're using Laravel Mix to set up a uh, you know quick little uh, asset compiling uh, thing in a custom WordPress theme. And so there's lots of other exclusive tutorials if you're interested in you know deploying WordPress using Git, using Gatsby uh, with WordPress and kind of like a headless WordPress setup. Um, also, if you're new here, uh, subscribe to the channel if this is the kind of stuff that you're interested in. I try and do these uh, tutorials at least once a week. Um, uh, around the holidays, it gets a little bit more hectic, but I've been trying to keep up the schedule as best as I can. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>